today's discussion is on amiodarone, which is number 198 on the top 200 drugs by prescription volume as of 2019. I'm going to start right after this. What is going on? My name is Abdul Bashawuth and welcome to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn about drugs and diseases, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Uh, the list of top 200 drugs is coming from this website. And this website gets this information from US Department of Health and Human Services. So at number 198 is amiodarone. Uh, amiodarone is a generic name. Another generic name is called uh, Peseron. Uh, brand name is called Cordaron. Uh, it was initially marketed by Wyeth Pharmaceuticals. Uh, Wyeth Pharmaceuticals is a subsidiary of Pfizer back in December of 2004. Uh, brand, at least the brand oral uh, tablets is no longer marketed right now. And uh, amiodarone is available as an oral tablets and IV uh, formulation. According to the good RX, you can get uh, 60 tablets of the 200 milligram for about $15 or 30 tablets of the 400 milligram for about $53. Now I'm going to briefly talk about amiodarone. So amiodarone is considered a class 3 antiarrhythmic drug. It's indicated to treat and prevent certain types of serious, life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias Arrhythmias is an irregular heartbeat and it works by relaxing overactive heart muscles. These drugs come with a black box warning. A black box warning is a serious warning that drug manufacturers are required by FDA to include in a black box in the prescribing information and is designed to call attention to a serious or life-threatening risks. Uh, this drug can cause serious toxicity to the lungs and liver and can even make the arrhythmia or irregular heartbeats worse. The drug also has some serious drug-to-drug -drug interactions and it's very important if you are starting or using the drug to let your doctor and your pharmacist know of all other drugs you are taking including over-the-counter drugs and supplements. Because of these seriousness, this drug is usually started in a hospital setting for about a week under doctor's supervision before it's continued at home. The hospital will typically obtain chest x-ray and perform lung tests before starting therapy with this drug. And the x-ray and the lung test will be repeated every three to six months while on this drug. Now, let me talk briefly about arrhythmia. Arrhythmia is a problem with the rate or rhythm of your heartbeat. It means that your heart beats too quickly or too slowly or with an irregular pattern. When the heart beats faster than normal, it's called tachycardia and when the heart beats too slowly, it's called bradycardia. Uh, the most common type of arrhythmia is called atrial fibrillation, which causes an irregular and fast heartbeat. Many factors can affect your heart's rhythm, such as having a heart attack, smoking, congenital heart defects, and stress. Some substances or medicines may also cause arrhythmias. So here are the symptoms of arrhythmia, but these are not all inclusive. There are many more, but these are the most common one. Uh, fast or slow heartbeat, skipping uh, beats, uh, lightheadedness or dizziness, chest pain, shortness of breath, or sweating. Your doctor can run tests to find out if you have an arrhythmia. Treatment to restore a normal heart rhythm may include medicines, or an implantable cardioverter defibrillator uh, known as pacemaker or sometimes a surgery may re be required. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. If you want to learn more about drugs, diseases, uh, how the drugs work, their side effects, uh, drug interactions, 
start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.